Welcome to my grow zone. It's a walk and talk. This is basically a 10 by 10 room. No window, so I have no idea why they built it like this. Two doors, one opens up into a bathroom and shower and the other opens up into the main area. This is my DWC system. It's gonna be aeroponic. I'm gonna build it up on a stand with uh, storage underneath, air pump, and then uh, I'm gonna have an adjustable light above it. And I'm gonna grow six different vegetables in there that work good. So that'll be something to watch. I have my tower garden. 28 plants I can grow onto this. I gotta order the light yet. So that's something to watch down the road here. Should be interesting. I bought it off an old man used and he liked it but didn't want to keep maintaining it and unfortunately he used it outside so it doesn't look that pretty. Here's the fertilizer factory for my room. It used to have a bigger tank. It started to get close to leaking so we replaced it out with this one's a bit smaller so some of these are going to go to a different home. I have an FX4 underneath running right now. I just did a water change and put that wood in there so the water is a little milky. But off that FX4 it's going to pump into a water station that I want to have over here. And that water station is going to have a gravity feed. You can see that five gallon pail there with the tap on it. It's going to gravity feed into my grow tent and we'll get into that in a bit but I eventually want to have my garden tower over there because where this tank is it's going to move over yet but I'm going to build a 90 gallon into the wall so it'll be flush on the other side and stick out a bit on this side and it'll have a stand and then above it I'm going to do an NFT system and if you don't know what that is research it I don't really want to get into teaching people anything. I've spent a lot of time and I'm not even pro yet or anything at all. So it's going to feed directly from the tank up into the top, go downhill into a bunch of different ones a couple times, zigzags and back into the tank. Each level is going to have lights so it'll all work really good. I'll have to find out exactly what plants will love the nutrients right off that tank. And then when the grow tower is in that corner, the water will be pumped into my water system where it's going to have um, a solids catcher and then the water will be then pH'd properly or nutrients added and then put into the tower and then I can still fill it back up again, do what I need to and then turn it on to the grow tent. This grow tent has a few plants in there, have some seedlings going. I have two fan system. I like to change it up every once in a while so the winds blow in different directions from different height. Heater in there. My little light rack that I made. I don't know if you've seen it in another video. But it's easily to adjust and it stays. Push it back down. It stays. So it works pretty good that way. I have an air purifier. It's a little USB device. Blowing air out of here. I have one doing the same blowing air in here. So it's getting a little bit of air movement. Everything kind of shuts off at night to simulate, you know, kind of how night is. The moisture goes up a little bit and heat goes down and wind slows down. My power station. It's a backup battery. Um, I have the heater and fans uh, running differently so that when that backup power kicks in the only the lights stay on and it works pretty good it actually became beneficial yesterday for my fish tank and for this because we did have power surges there's gonna be my little seedling area or for um, microgreens I can uh, put that light on a timer whenever I want in different heights and do all sorts here and this is where I sit and do all the stuff I need to do so yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of years to do this room, but eventually here it's going to be all wrapped with that plastic walls that they use in restaurants. And then uh, total moisture proof so nothing else in the house is going to have issues. I'm going to eventually in the ceiling here, in this area here, I'm going to build a shelf so I can put an air conditioner up there. 
pipe to heat right out the wall and then same with the tent when I need it I'm going to get that fan system and then it's going to be piped right outside this is my house I can do this I've been dreaming of this for about six years now and I said screw it I'm going to get it done eventually I'm going to put a bathroom fan in here that's on a sensor that does humidity and heat so if it starts to get bad in here it'll turn on and suck some air out so it'll be a bit of power I have to bring into here but that's all right it's my house Along this wall here, this entire area, there's water lines so that I could actually bring water in here if I wanted to, or just open the door and get water out of the shower, which is very simple, but who knows, I might bring it in here. But I even have backup. If you guys don't have something like this in your grill room, probably should. I heard this thing beeping, that the battery was dead when it was buried under a bunch of stuff, and I heard it all the way upstairs, so might as well throw one in your room. It doesn't hurt. So if you think this is going to be pretty cool, then if you don't like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. Let me hear what you think and type it in the comments. You can see I got a bunch of extra lights and I have fans. <laughs> going to be pretty paired. I got backup power timers, all sorts of stuff in here. So Follow me over the next couple of years to see how this goes. And uh, in spring, I'll definitely show you my garden outside that these guys fed last year and I had amazing gardens. So I hope they'll do the same this year. Thanks. Bye.